Hey everyone, Mossy Ranch Backyard Farm here in uh, Gresham, Oregon, right outside of Portland, Oregon, and it's a strangely sunny day again here in the northwest, but freezing cold and super windy, but um, spring's almost here, and I just wanted to talk about some things that uh, I've been doing uh, just waiting for spring to come. Uh, one major thing is right now is the time to prune your fruit trees. So get out there, prune some trees. Bare root fruit trees also are on sale right now. Uh, best time to plant the fruit trees. Uh, you can get them very cheap. Uh, I just actually, is my new project, I got um, some peach trees that I'm going to try out here. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear me, it's so windy. But um, here we have a Charlotte peach and a couple of frost peach. Uh, and I'm gonna grow them in a fan espalier here against my uh, south facing house, uh, the side of the house. And I'm gonna see how they do. They're kinda under the heave, heave a little bit, so uh, they shouldn't get that much moisture so um, hopefully they don't get filled with disease. I just sprayed them, I brought them down. They were about five, six feet tall when I bought them. I just brought them down to one. Uh, this one I actually already had, but brought it down uh, to a manageable height from which I want all the um, you know, scaffolding branches to grow. Uh, here they are right there, and uh, just excited to see if I can grow some peaches here in the Northwest. Um, sorry about my videos. The last couple videos, I just uh, was holding the phone the wrong way, but uh, here's what's left of what I'm growing as far as vegetables is kale. I have it everywhere. The chickens got most of it because I let them cruise around in the winter, uh, but I've just been harvesting dino kale like crazy and uh, I'm about this tall and uh, yeah it's about as tall as me I'm 5'4 so it grows they grow like trees delicious been making smoothies and uh, just cooking with kale 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 every day anyways uh, just prune back my apples and pears and plums and all that and I just wanted to um, give you guys a heads up on some things that I been thinking about doing usually I save these uh, nifty little tags because otherwise if I leave them on the trees they just uh, get that I don't see if you I don't know if you can see it back there but um, I just kind of forget about it and then before I know it the tree has outgrown the tag so one thing I like to do is I get a bunch of these little things these are just little tags uh, and a permanent marker that's waterproof. Um, I always carry that around in the spring but I wrote down everything that I have and uh, that way if I don't like a variety or I do like it and I want to graft it onto something else I always know what everything is because uh, once you get planting and uh, well at least I tend to get carried away and plant 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 and pretty soon I forget what I planted uh, so we got uh, we got gala and Brayburn here more gala um, got Fuji down here um, and another thing I like to do also is like this is a Brayburn uh, is I like to put on the other side the time of harvest so it kind of helps me out to not pick it before the right time so um, it's been working out pretty good for me I haven't had a huge crop of anything yet um, just because this is the fourth year it's gonna be the fourth spring so um, hopefully this year I got here my pluots are just ready to go hopefully they hold off a little longer because it's only the beginning of February here we might get some we still do get some frost, but um, 
and I, I also like to carry around, I have it here in my pocket, just, uh, you know, some twine, like these are like bread twisties, but they come with the, like this uh, nifty little cutter here, and um, that way I just uh, can tie my tags on, this is Flavor King Pluot, and uh, I just leave a wide enough gap to where, uh, you know, as I forget, <laughs> about the trees they have a chance to you know like not get choked out before I uh, figure out to make these longer but uh, so they're kind of all dangling here but before I know it they'll be nice and filled in and fit tight uh, I just uh, I'm gonna do another video about my animals and try to erase those horrible videos I had um, but anyways Everybody's yard looks like this in the winter, if you live anywhere cold. Uh, I've been trying to do, uh, you know, like ornamental setting, ed edible landscaping in an ornamental setting. Uh, wow, these birds are freaking out here. I've seen a bald eagle hover around just a little bit ago, maybe looking for my chickens. Uh, but these birds are kind of all freaking out so he's probably around here somewhere um, anyways I'm gonna do uh, some more conifers here and there to try to hide out the yucky winter garden here uh, done pretty good over here got some nice conifers going uh, I have strawberry trees uh, which actually gave me a lot of fruit um, doesn't taste very good here because it doesn't ripen, ripen all the way but the, um, the birds really like them I think they picked them all clean uh, anyways I'm gonna uh, head over to the rabbit and the chicken uh, enclosures and I'll shoot another update uh, about them <laughs> 